Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to today's video where we've got even more leaks and rumors to go over in regards to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I've been away over the last few days at Glastonbury Festival, it was amazing. Um, I'm pretty tired, so if I look tired, that is the reason. And no comments down below about Am I wearing lipstick? I got really bad sunburn on my lips. It was hot over the weekend. So that is the reason why it does look like I've got really red lips, but I haven't got lipstick on. So the, anyway, anyway, bunch of things have happened over the weekend. So we're going to take the time in this video to go over everything, have a look at what the new leaks are and get hyped up for even more excitement for Scarlet and Violet. So without further ado, let's hop over onto Twitter as we normally do. And we're going to start off with more leaks from Riddler Koo. He has changed his name to Zodiac Color at the minute. Uh, how long that'll last for, I don't know. But the first thing we're going to look at today is in relation to Fue Coco's final evolution. Now, sneak peek time is what he titled this tweet as and you can see here a uh, picture of his desktop and a bunch of things blacked out we'll get into later in this video but the thing that isn't blacked out is this picture of a crocodile or labeled crocodile now jan jan uh, found the actual original image here so uh, you can see found it now what does it mean i don't know um so we just got a picture of a crocodile pretty much with a rooster sitting on its head and that is the image in ku's tweet here um the the video is also found by calesto um, and you can you can have a look here at the actual video where this image was taken from where there's a rooster just getting kind of chomped at by a crocodile but it does escape its jaws and um, I don't really know if we should pay too much attention to the actual video and what goes into it I think it's more in regards to the actual just the image here of the the rooster sitting on the crocodile's head and that being in correlation to the final evolution so um, there are a bunch of things that we'll go through in regards to this tweet and this leak uh, in regards to the final evolution but I do want to first come back to this image here that was put up by a Chinese uh, Lika source um, that we kind of don't know where it really came from but it popped up on 4chan it got debunked really quickly but I we've discussed it before in these videos I don't think this is fake I think this is a genuine leak and I think the deeper we're going into these leaks that we're getting I think the more true it feels and now the big thing why I want to come to it in this video in regards to Ku's latest leak is the depiction the picture here of Fue Coco now if you see here it's got wings uh, it is a typical dragon of course but it does have wings reference to a rooster it does have the kind of I guess headpiece of a rooster kind of on it and it is on four legs like a crocodile would be as well so there is a big reference here to this leak being quite true to what Ku is saying as well and we know Ku being a very reliable leaker 99% of the time when he's putting things out you can pretty much take those as fact of what we're going to see in the games obviously nothing has been confirmed so you've got to keep that in mind as well so you can take these with a grain of salt but i do think there is a, a lot of relevance in this this leak here to what ku is saying um then we can go on to another kind of follow-up to this as well so for coco's final stage teaser one bets are accepted now and he's got four kind of images here one two three four uh you've got something on four legs like a a, a dog i guess and then you've got the kind of bipedal uh which looks a lot like uh fue coco and then you've got a, a what would be like a humanoid one and a snake as well and uh this is the kind of clue now this goes on uh where ku kind of elaborates a little bit more on this my personal reactions to the four situations which is meh no brainer nope but a fetish meme uh but you know the final result is always inclined to be meh so he kind of saying that the the final evo is gonna be this first one which is meh and you can see soul silver another very good leak analyst uh does break this down a bit more um or oh, another big point about this when i see this image of a croc this very much tells us that fue coco is going to remain a croc probably on all fours throughout its whole line not a snake i still think the correct one is number one here or maybe possibly two and i i can get totally behind that i think that makes complete sense so i think with what ku's saying and then what so silver's kind of breaking this down as it's gonna end up as a pokemon on all fours could end up as a bipedal pokemon on two legs like a feraligator you know that we've had before but considering that we've had a starter crocodile like feraligator on two legs it might 
mean that we're going to get this other crocodile kind of themed Pokemon on four legs, uh, which has been kind of hinted at quite a lot. So in Kusin himself, more inclined to go with meh, makes a lot more sense. But it does kind of come back to this image here where we've got this original leak from way before any of this information came out. And this, this Pokemon here is on four legs. So it would kind of be kind of a big hint that that's what we're gonna get. Especially when we got the information here about Sprigatito's final evolution being bipedal. Ku's already confirmed that. And this picture here of Sprigatito's final Evo is, is on two legs. So it all kind of makes sense, um, but that's the first one. Very exciting to think that we're gonna get like a, a crocodile fire, uh, a crocodile rooster kind of Pokemon. I do like the idea of that a lot. And um, the reference to this original leak from a way, way, way time ago um, ties in quite nicely with that. So that kind of wraps up that. Let me know your comments down below because I do wanna hear what your thoughts are on if it will be bipedal, what do you think? Do you gonna be bipedal, quadrupedal? Do you think it's gonna have like the, the rooster kind of motif to its head? It makes a lot of sense. That image from Ku's desktop here pulls very heavily in relation to that being the kind of the, the head of the crocodile, having a lot of kind of rooster kind of uh, influence with it. But next one, we got another one. We had this big uh, leak from a uh, tweet from Ku as well, putting out this very cryptic tweet. The community here have come together and cracked it. And it come back, uh, really Yuridin here, uh, Gets a lot of credit for it, but Turo in the Pokemon Code Cracking Discord, which is now set up, uh, did crack this code that Ku had put out. And it came back um, as F means fake. So this is referencing um, the original post from Ku where it comes to this uh, image here where he kind of put a poll up. We've covered this before as well. And the, the RF is short for, um, and then this kind of image here of a Diglett. Well, it kind of the regional was kind of confirmed vaguely as the R in what that stands for, but the F was never really confirmed. And this is linking back to this tweet from Ku. F means fake, which kind of refers to regional fake for short, which is kind of interesting to be honest, because it's, it kind of throws up a lot of questions about are they manipulating Pokemon or creating Pokemon in this new region? And to be a kind of a regional variant of a Pokemon from another region, but it's not a true regional um, form, it's a regional fake. So this this leads to a lot of questions and SoulSilver uh, kind of wraps this up. All right, here it is. The work put into this has been incredible, but looks like the past was, uh, the, the last part was cracked from a follower named Churo on a new Pokemon called Cracking Discord, link below. Uh, so if you do want to get involved with that and more in amongst the kind of the cracking of these leaks, join the Discord um, and it's all going on over there. Uh, the answer is RF equals regional fake. Uh, it could be regional still hasn't been confirmed is that is what what it actually is but I'm pretty presuming because Ku hasn't dismissed that as uh, when it's been mentioned before when regional form was mentioned he did state it's the F that you want to concentrate on not the R so regional kind of makes sense fake is what's come out of this leak he's kind of uh, riddle that he's put out it has been cracked so regional fake is the answer to this so so silver then goes on just my first theory if RF is regional fake uh, could this mean that humans have made a way to create multiple fake Pokemon Miradon might be the perfection of of this in the future timeline or maybe they are forcing Pokemon to change evolve in an unnatural way in the end this regional specific fake Pokemon form evolution system it's probably one of the bigger brand new features in Scarlet and Violet so would expect a lot of hype around it and I do agree with that I think that's a really interesting kind of concept to take on it and it does kind of throw up a lot of questions on how the people in this region are creating these regional fakes or what 
what they are, but interesting and hopefully we get a bit more information on that soon from Ku, uh, just to elaborate on it and give us a bit more of a sneak preview. Next thing we're gonna do is come back to this original sneak peek Twitter uh, post from Riddler Ku and look at the other items in this post. Cause you've got the crocodile image that's been revealed and then you've got GL related teaser one, GL related teaser two, and GL were kind of thinking that these are referring to gym leaders. Now, if you think about what Ku is going to be focusing on next month with these leaks, it's all going to be in regards to characters. We already had that teaser already from Ku about the potential gym leader um, leak that we had in our previous video. Uh, so it would make sense that we're going to get more gym leader hints. And this is what we're kind of surmising from these two here. Gen 9 Pokedex as well. Um, now this image has been kind of you're going to be able to see it a little bit better than these two, the, the gym leader ones, um, kind of adding up seeing how many Pokemon are actually going to be in Gen 9. Um, so when we get a bit more information on that, I'll cover it in these videos. The other big thing that we re I really wanted to talk about here was the E4 teaser one. Now this pretty much confirms that we're going to get the Elite 4 back in these games, which we haven't had for a little while. Um, another sneak peek, uh, first thing is Elite Four, 99% confirmed to return after not being in Gen 8. Also looks like the Gen 9 po uh, Pokedex got a lot bigger. Random sounds, sounds fun too. And then there is the Croc, Fue Coco, and Chicken Pick, which is the next riddle, so we are already speculating. But as you can see here, the, the images here, are a bit more elaborated. You can see the Gen 9 Pokedex. So potentially gonna be a really, really large Pokedex in comparison to Gen 8, but it would make sense if you get about the same amount of Pokemon that you've got in the Gen 8 Pokedex, plus the new Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. It gonna be probably a little bit bigger, but who knows? As in when we get more information on that, we will uh, we will obviously cover that. But very exciting that the Elite Four are finally coming back. Uh, it's a big feature that I really enjoy in the game, so I'm sure many others uh, will be pleased to see the Elite Four coming back. So hopefully that is the case, and um, I'm hoping that we get some official confirmation of it soon. Next thing we want to talk about today is something from Blaze Incineroar. He does find a lot of really good kind of rumors, I would say, more than anything else. Um, analyzes them, gives his take on what or how true they're going to be and um, puts them out and retweets them and uh, also has some really good ideas on uh, the kind of the, the, the leak analysis side of things as well. So worth a follow if you're into all this sort of stuff. Uh, this one that we're going to cover is 8 out of 10 looks like this from someone who is not from the English community, but I do find it really interesting why we wanted to uh, cover it today. So the region name is Romas. I think that's how we're pronouncing it. Uh, finals stage of starter monsters are grass evil uh, fire ghost and water fighting so grass evil evil is always kind of the dark typing if that makes sense um, the star typings are being confirmed by Ku, so we know this pretty much adds up uh, the water looks like a pirate which is really cool so Quaxley's final evolution kind of a, a pirate looking according to this who knows uh, fire looks very very happy skull crocodile so that's kind of interesting again a skull crocodile if it's got that rooster kind of influence to it as well that Ku's leaked could be quite an interesting design as well uh grass looks like a spain dancer with dark lolita long dress which makes sense because Ku has said it is kind of a a, a waifu sort of looking pokemon so that kind of makes sense as well. Legendary Pokemon on motorcycles for your journey across the open land. You receive a bike from the beginning of the story, turns into a Pokemon later as a surprise. So that would be that would be interesting to see that we get a ride uh, item early on that actually turns into Coriodon or Miradon uh, later on in the game. So that could be something of interest in whether that happens or not, and whether we know that they're the legendaries early on or not, or. He will, I guess we'll see, but an interest in taking it nonetheless. Um, bad guys are called Arcana Gang. Um, Nemo, which is 
Nimona, I'm guessing, become one of the Okina gang boss later, but also uh, is one of your first battles. She is a gym trainer. Okay, so a gym trainer, not a gym leader, or might be a gym leader. Obviously, this person first language is in English, so we've got to keep that in mind here. Uh, but Nimona, we know, is going to be a big integral part of the story in Scarlet and Violet. So it'll be interesting to see her kind of arc in this. And if she does join the, the bad team, in the stories that's kind of a nice twist as well to it especially if she is a gym leader as well and uh, you kind of got a, a rogue gym leader in the games which could really elaborate on some quite interesting kind of plot in the story for these games a uh, bad guy of the game is the champion um champion is named adam uh looks a little like the diamond clan leader from arceus game with shorter hair looks like Yu-Gi-Oh. so that's kind of interesting because you got that link to uh, adaman from um pokemon legends arceus he is the the um the diamond clan leader uh so uh, a relation long distance relative from him in these current games i like the link there and i like that he could be the champion and then he kind of turns bad which would make sense it'd be a nice twist as well uh some new pokemon i see are coin that becomes a treasure pirate chest steel grass i like uh, which is cool so that makes sense as well coming off the back of like ku stuff that he's put out new rough Rieza with pineapple okay so we did get those kind of uh, i think they were deemed fake leaks a while ago of a, a kind of an oddish regional variant which was a pineapple so there might be some truth in that they might have got influence from a like genuine leaks that they'd seen who knows uh new nokichi becomes a brave big snake with small wings 124 new pokemon uh new mega style evolutions with coin toss the coin with pikachu become korai pikachu or mirai pikachu until the end of the battle so that's kind of interesting take on what the new gimmick will be like a coin toss and you get either a, i guess a past uh, evolution or a present like a future evolution which could be quite good but you have no control over it. i'm guessing if it's a coin toss you've got a chance of one of the other um so whether or not that would happen i don't know because i feel like if you're going to have a, a gimmick in the games i feel like they want you to have control over what it will be rather than give you more rng chance of potentially it backfiring on you if you don't get the the kind of the evolution that you want in the game so i don't know if that if I, I kind of can fully get behind that i like the idea of it though but i think you probably have a bit more control of whether whether you go like to the past or to the future with the gimmick if it does come along to that so um but that is everything but i thought very interesting it'd be nice to hear your opinions on this but a uh, big shout out as always to blizz and cinero for finding these and posting them on twitter and to end on i'm gonna put up this another post from blizz and cinero he did find this this is a this has been confirmed as just concept art fan concept art made of the third dark legendary dragon that has been rumored in scarlet and violet but i wanted to put it up so this isn't real but i really like the concept art here of this pokemon and i thought if we get anything like this it's going to be very cool you can see it's got this very kind of reminiscent uh patterns of i think it's uh, primal groudon has these patterns on its back when it goes into its primal uh reversion uh, so that's kind of taken a big influence in these designs the three-headed dragon as well kind of high dragon reference there but um if we get anything like this i would be so stoked because the design itself whoever's done this done a fantastic job but, um it is an instagram post if i can find out where the instagram account is come from for this i'll pop it in the description so you can check it out for yourselves but friends that wraps up today's video and i think brings us up to date with pretty much most of the things that have come out over the past Last weekend since i've been away and uh, we'll be following up on a bunch of stuff as it drops this week and um, we might be getting some news in regards to a pokemon direct a new trailer it is being hinted at quite a lot in the community in the minute so whether or not we get anything later this week would be interesting we've obviously got the mini tendo direct happening on the 20 is it the 28th or 29th so very soon so we might get some pokemon news in and around that so it has been hinted at the start of july 
my time when we're going to get another trailer so as in when we do it we'll try and do it live if i can if i can't we'll do a recap of it and make sure to cover everything but these leaks are very interesting that we've covered today and ku still at it so let me know your thoughts down below thank you so much for tuning in would love to hear your opinions on everything that we've covered today please remember to drop a like it takes like two seconds but it really helps the video out if you've got a time if you've got a minute to spare and um i will see you all for the next one and hopefully be a bit more refreshed and not as tired so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you all later so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye